<laughs> Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Rankable. You're watching the Two Smart Guys Show with the Boxy Box. Woohoo! So last week we got to go to the Boxy Box launch. Yes, we got to cover the launch event. We got access to the green room. Uh, we interviewed uh, pretty much every member of the team, most of the members. Yes. It's a pretty big team now. <laughs> so check it out. I think it was very exciting. Uh, it was a full house and great crowd. It's always amazing for us. I got some emails for people who were in the event and they said like it was like a tech rock show, a rock concert. And I think that's exactly it. Like if you're going to be in the tech scene, if you're going to have a startup, then you might as well do something that people are going to be extremely excited about. I'm excited for the event. It's amazing. Is great. <laughs> it's a dream come true for us. I've been excited about this for like six years. It was uh, fun. Fun. This was very boxy. It's a killer interface. Now the box streams 1080p. That's... When you click the wireless button, yeah, yeah that's me. It's his code. You got the wireless. Yeah. Button. Yes. I got the he wireless. Got the wire, I got the wired. The... I got the wired. Okay. Freedom to do, to watch whatever you want, when you want it, and how you want it. Remote, high def to the TV, done. The TV show library is just awesome. Um, being able to get new episodes added to your queue as soon as they're available, it's like a surprise. It was great to see people come and get so excited about a launch of a product. Our CEO, Avner. 2007, we were five guys that started, and we had computers hooked up to our TVs. Pretty excited about it and geeked out, but we also thought that we could do better. So we quit our jobs and we started Boxy. Initially, when we started a company, we said we'll build a box. And we went out uh, to raise money very confident, and then everybody told us we're crazy. These five, six software guys uh, talking about manufacturing hardware it didn't sound very credible at the time. We agreed at the end that we're crazy and we said we're a software company now, we're not going to build boxes, we don't know hardware. And uh, we launched an alpha version of our uh, product and got people excited. And then we said, well, you know, the alpha is pretty good, we really want to have a box out there. And in 2009, we kind of said very publicly we were looking for a box partner. We got an email from D-Link. Uh, they'll be interested in building a boxy box together with us and we said, you know, let's do it. I love the fact that we are the only truly open source platform that's available in the living room. So uh, open source software has been in the living room for a long time, but they've all been on essentially closed systems. So Linux has been running on a lot of set-top boxes, but developers have never had the opportunity to really uh, uh, customize and, and create new applications on the platform. And Boxy's approach is really innovative in the sense that not only do we have an app store that people can uh, uh, publish their apps to. But the, the software itself is open source, and a lot of the engineers that work at Boxy still contribute to XBMC. We still contribute, all of us contribute in some way to some open source project that's out there. Here we are today. Uh, it's a pretty um, strong beast coming in a small package. It has two USBs in the back that you can plug your storage and you can share that storage using SMB. It comes with Ethernet, HDMI, so you can pass the video and the audio. And it comes with uh, this remote that's remote on one side. And, and yeah, on-screen keyboard sucks. So that's the other side of the remote. And they're both coming out today in 33 countries, actually. So it's quite, quite a big launch for us. And it's also coming to stores, so this is all thanks to Dealing. We're really proud to be their partners. Um, we have some uh, partners that we want to bring out um, and share with you. First one, Vivo. Um, it used to be that people would go to cable television to find music video. But today, tens of millions of fans are going online to find, discover, and share music videos with their friends. And that that discovery process is happening even quicker as the fan really doesn't know much difference between the display in their hand and the display on their TV. We think with, with Boxy, we're taking a step into that larger world. Lance, who's the marketing guy from Intel. So about six years ago, we decided we needed a way to bring the innovation and the excitement around the PC and content coming to the PC 
to the mass market. And so what you see today is one of the first of companies who have done something amazing and you've built a really cool, fun product. Exactly. And then back at our history, we've been around for 16 years now. We started as a magazine in Montreal, Canada. And we can only do that magazine because of desktop publishing, which democratized the ability for cheapskates like us to do magazines. The same thing happened about three or four years ago when we finally started to take video cameras out to film every interview we did and actually put it up on television and started a television, online television show called BBS. We want to um, just acknowledge all the hard work that's gone into this, um, not only from D-Link but also from, from Team Boxy. Uh, both here in the U.S. and what you may not know is we've got a team of developers over in uh, Israel. Oh, that's the end of the presentation, so that means we should probably switch over to the Boxy Box. Okay, so it's live. I'm doing it from here. We'll do it live. Yeah. So. What we've done with this new home screen is really we tried to make it much simpler, so it's less overwhelming for somebody to just turn on the TV. We're using this section right here to recommend stuff, movies or shows or applications from partners. Or you know, One of the things that is very common with people sitting down on couches is they don't know what they want to watch necessarily. So going into your friend section and seeing what your boxy friends have shared with you or what people on on Twitter have shared with you, we think uh, makes perfect sense. And then another thing that we've done is we introduced this new menu. There is a menu button on the remote that brings up the menu. And what you can do with the menu is, again, you can get to the main sections of, uh, of the user experience. You can also, there is a search bar right there. You can also quickly get to your watch later list. Uh, you can see all the stuff that you decided that you want to watch. So that could be a video that you came across when you were just browsing Boxy and you just clicked add to my watch later list. Or it could be a show that you're following. If you said that you're, you know, if you favorited the show, then whenever there's a new episode online, that will appear for you in your watch later list queue. And the other thing that you can do is if you go online with your browser, you can use a small bookmarklet and just mark stuff to watch later and it all will appear for you in your queue. So in terms of playback, I'll go now and play something from YouTube. Um, what it's doing is actually it's launching the new WebKit browser that we have and it's gonna, if we have good internet, you're actually gonna see streaming in HD from, um, from YouTube. Three. Okay. No. No. Jimmy or Rab? I, I, I can dance Yo, to that. DJ yeah. Hot Deck. Okay. Drop. Bring that next level shit. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's my move. That's what I'm talking about. Check it out. So, just as a dis disclaimer, we think the idea of a browser on a TV c kind of sucks, actually. But then having that freedom to go and launch a browser and just go to a URL and click on something and play it and interact with it, we think that's great as a fallback. So the other thing we've done are browse screens. So as you go into the movies section, you can see that the UI is much cleaner and simpler. There's less buttons. And we have this uh, amazing partnership with, uh, with Voodoo that is owned by Walmart. And you can see that there's over 9,000 movies in the library now. Some of them are available for rental, some of them to buy, some of them are ad supported. And when you click on a movie, it will tell you where you can get it from and for how much. Yeah, we love Voodoo. They're amazing. I mean, their um, their HD format looks perfect on a 1080p uh, TV. The other thing we've done with the menu is we tried to make it much easier to navigate around. If I'll go to movies and then I'll go to genres and choose where I want to get movies from. And I can sort by what's most popular or what was recently added. And uh, it's all really quick, one click away always with uh, the menu button. Same goes for TV shows. Then comes applications. Um, again, use the same clean UI. So this is the new Vivo app. You can do searches. You can go by channel. It's a really great app. I mean, in the age where nobody watches MTV for music anymore, um, another app that we launched recently, uh, TED, um, So 
So we think that's a TV experience that makes sense. That's the Vice app, by the way. To tell you the truth, we think that um, the idea of apps kind of uh, sucks. We don't think that uh, it makes sense that every TV platform out there is going to have its own SDK that is open for developers to create apps. Um, so we'd much rather prefer a future where apps are based on HTML. And Boxy now supports HTML5 apps. Essentially, people just create, recreate their websites in design that makes sense for, uh, for 10 foot. And this is um, something from the New York Times. And we hope that what it means is that if you're a content owner, you can create your HTML app once, and then it works on any TV. So we hope that's where, um, that's where it's going. Another important piece of, um, of Boxy is uh, the ability to play local files. People have terabytes of storage in some cases with lots and lots and lots of files. And we think that if you can play it on your computer, you should be able to play it on your TV. And you have it on a disk or a NAS or whatever, wherever you have it, you should be able to play it. All kind of different formats and codecs. Anyway, we tested. And we tested, and we tested, and we tested, and we made it all work. What we've done is, besides testing it with Boxy, we also tested it with um, Apple TV and, um, and Google TV Logitech product. What matters is if you have a file and you click play, you want the stuff to play, right? So we think Boxy Box is going to be the best solution for this. We, we also added this uh, small little icon. So we worked with AccuWeather to get you the weather. Apparently, there's many people that care about the weather. And um, we have it. The other thing we have is uh, search. So if you search on Boxy now, you actually get results. And the way it works is we search the Boxy TV show library, and the Boxy movie library, and the Boxy app library. But we also search the, the whole wild interwebs. You know, in, in Boxy search, you can trust. So, um, Netflix is coming. It's going to be different than what you're familiar with on Mac or PC. Um, very different, different user interface. Also, high definition. So, as you can see, the button, we're going to have a new version of the remote for you, Netflix fanatics. So you have one click to get to Netflix. This is serious. We're going to work really hard um, really soon to make Hulu Plus available, like real Hulu, designed for TV in HD. And I think between Hulu, Netflix, Voodoo, it's going to be an amazing experience. So I guess that's it. Um, All right, so that was yeah, our coverage of the Boxy Box launch. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. You should uh, go get a box. Yes, <laughs> it's a, we got a direct link for you down here at Amazon, and it's uh, they're working on it. It's and great. And it's going to get much better. Yes, soon, yes, it's so. a stepping stone. Yeah, um, it's part of uh, the mo the way that our generation wants to move forward with how we digest our content. We've been waiting for this for a while since we started using XBMC ourselves, and now. Now it's an actual box you can buy. You don't have to hack an Xbox <laughs> or build a massive PC. You can just get a little box. Yeah. Till next right. time. See you guys next week. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Yeah. Print it. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.